Hello. Hi, everybody. How is it going? It me, your neighborhood boy. Back at it. Again. The last time I did a video about clothes, it did really well. You guys really seemed to enjoy it, so I thought I had to do another one. I'm a giver. What can I say? So pretty much I'm just going to show you guys some new clothes, new trends, new fashion related things that I've been enjoying lately, wearing lately, utilizing lately, putting on my body in this brand new year. So yeah, let's begin. It's January, so it's pretty cold, so a lot of the stuff that I've collected over the past few weeks, months, is related to warmth. So we'll start off with sweaters. The first sweater I got is one of my most recent purchases. It's this cute, like, wool sweater. It's from this place called Oakenfort. Never heard of it before. I believe it's a Canadian company. And yeah, it's just a very simple, warm sweater. I went up with a green sweater from the men's section, and then I saw this one in the women's section and was like, bye, bitch. That one's mine. It just further proves why I need to search the entire store to get the sweater I like. I've had this for like two weeks and I think I've worn it for about a week straight. So that's how good it is. Next, this hoodie. This hoodie is from a brand called Noah. Noah's been a really trendy brand recently. And I saw that they did a limited collection with the Keith Haring Foundation. And I absolutely love Keith Haring. So I, I legit, I was like waiting in line, getting food somewhere. And I saw that this went up and I immediately purchased it on my phone. I didn't even think twice about it. I didn't care how much it was gonna cost, I needed it. So yeah, it's got a Keith Haring design on the front and on the back it says, peace on earth. Plus it's in forest green and I'm just saying, I'm obsessed with forest green. Next is this hoodie. I wore this in one of my recent videos and everyone was like, where is it from? This is from a brand called Fear of God, also in a forest green slash navy print. It's really cool. It fits different from most hoodies that I've worn. It has this weird like bubble shape to it, but for some reason it doesn't make you look bubbly. <laughs> it's interesting, but I really, really loved this print on the outside. Again, pretty festive. Plaid is very much a winter print. Plaid, 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 plaid. So yeah, I really, uh, I really like that one. Next is from a little brand called Common Culture. Who designed this? I don't know. I don't know her. I'm not familiar with her work. This is the cult classic Crimson Crew Deck. Oh my God, I'm annoying. From the newest release of Common Culture clothing. It's so cute. I love it. We got that checkered print on the front. We got some small text that's really hard to read from far away, but when you get up close, it's really well printed common culture cult classic design. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. Common culture cult classic design. It's also got this little graphic design on the side. I don't know. It's really nice. It's really simple. Red and blue. Also my former college university school colors. He's a college boy. This is a flannel from Saint Laurent. Saint Laurent. Yeah. I got it at an outlet store and it was like 75% off. It's nice. It's a staple. Saint Laurent is a very quality designer brand, but can typically be pretty pricey. So it was nice to get it on sale, but still keeping quality. Also, I love these buttons it has on it. Continuing on with the shirts, we have this very simple black button up, of which I added a bunch of pins to. I've been obsessed with pins lately and I've just been pinning my life. There are pins on a pair of pants down there. There are pins on this t-shirt. I don't know. I just really like safety pins. So I've been just putting them on everything. I've been wearing the shirt like a flannel, so usually unbuttoned, but you could totally wear it buttoned up, so it could be either casual or formal, but it's this really nice thick material. The pocket is very squared off, soothing my symmetrical soul. I don't know, it's just a nice staple, it goes with everything. Next, we have t-shirts. This is a very simple striped t-shirt. I really like the colors on it, it was pretty cheap. I was figured it would be an easy staple item to get from a brand called Banks. It looks like it should be perfect with a pair of Levi's. It's got a pocket so you can hide things in it, like a little candy. <laughs> Next, we have a shirt that I was really conflicted about getting. This is a vintage Mar... How do you say it? Marlboro? Mar... Marlboro. Mar... Burrow. It's a cigarette shirt. There's that brand of cigarettes that's like really iconic and it has their logo on the t-shirt. I was really conflicted because I don't smoke cigarettes myself, nor do I want to promote smoking cigarettes. So I had an idea that I think I'm going to stitch a little X over the logo so it promotes not smoking, but I can still keep the t-shirt. Whatever. People have done worse things. Next, we have another simple t-shirt. This is from a brand that I don't even who Something presents. Pagot, Pagosi, Jean Pagosi. Sure, it's just a white t-shirt with a photo from a Saint Laurent fashion show in Paris, France. 
1975. I wore this under the black button up and it looks really cute together. Tuck it into a pair of jeans. You look fancy. I don't know what it is, but I love t-shirts with photos on them. So yeah, this is a must purchase. This is a pretty big haul. Three more items, then we're done. Next, we have two new pairs of jeans. These are some Levi jeans that I purchased recently. They're like a black, gray denim. They're a little bit baggier. They're absolutely amazing. I haven't, I don't know why, but I haven't had black denim in a really long time. I don't know what happened to all my black jeans, but I couldn't find a pair, so I went out and got a new one. And these fit like a dream. <laughs> they hug my body in all the right places. So I love them. I'm just a total hoe for Levi's, apparently. But the next pair is also Levi's. This is the lightest denim that I think I've ever owned. Shit's so light, giving me 90s or 80s dad jeans. And you know what? I just love them. I put some pins on them too, so that was a cool thing. That was a cool thing. But yeah, I don't know. They look really nice. I was getting sick of dark denim, so. Got myself a pair of light denim. And last, but surely not least, a big pea coat. Is this technically a pea coat or is this just like a trench coat? What would you call it? It's not a trench coat. Is it a trench coat? That's the technical term. This coat is also from Oak and Fort. They were having a sale, so I splurged. It's a really simple, nice black coat. The only problem is it's not that heavy, so I could never really wear this in a real winter environment. But hey, it really makes any outfit I have on look a lot smarter, a lot more professional, so I thought it was like a staple to get. I kind of want to have it short because it's a little bit longer than I like. But yeah, very simple, nice black coat. I love it. And you know, that's pretty much it. Those are my favorite clothes that I've got recently. I really like it. It's all very seasonal. Most of it's very warm. A lot of neutrals going on. The works. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below what are some of the brands that you're wearing lately. A lot of these are from brands that I've never bought stuff for, which is always really pleasing to kind of dive into a new brand and a new look, a new aesthetic, a new direction. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to click the thumbs up. I love doing clothing related videos, so if you want more of them, please let me know. Also, if you're new here, make sure to click subscribe. I put out new videos pretty much every week. But yeah, other than that, I hope you guys are having a great January, a great new year, and I will see you soon. If you enjoyed the video, make sure a big thumbs up, leave a comment below. Do, 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 do. Bye.